Today we've come to the mall. This has been a long time coming. I've had my iPhone 6 for four years since it came out. I was doing this weird thing at the top of the screen. It like does this little dancey gray little bar and everything's unresponsive. Okay, so yeah, I just want to get one. Oh, okay, cool. Straight up. Uh, 64 or 256? 64, please. Yeah! This thing, this card, and with that came our beer. Look, so this is uh, in order. These are the different beers you're trying. It's pretty cool. We're at this place. It's like a, it's an old converted church, which is now a brewery restaurant thing. There's like a tap room downstairs too. Look at this place. It's, it's pretty sweet. They like have like the brewing. Uh, they brew in there. Look at look at this place. Never been here. Pretty sweet. We're gonna, we're gonna try these out. This one is brewed with like coffee. Here, this is what it says. Coffee milk stout made with oats and locally roasted Ethiopian Amaro Gallo coffee beans. Tell me what you think. It tastes like iced coffee. It's, is, is that not amazing? I, it's really great. See, that's like a great dark beer. It tastes like iced coffee. Wow. I, she hates dark beer. Wait, let me see one more little sip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not as good the second I time. I get that. First new iPhone in like four years. I don't know if I ever finished that thought. What I was saying was, my phone been doing this weird thing that it's like jumping around at the top and my entire like phone screen is unresponsive. Usually it's been working if I slap it against my hand or my leg or something, but uh, today it was actually like the worst day ever. And I'm gonna be traveling soon and we gotta, there's time to upgrade. I, it's a weird feeling because I really didn't want to because I love this phone and honestly, other than that, there was absolutely nothing wrong with it. There was no reason to upgrade. But with this issue that happens every time with my phone, also like I'll try to click an app and like another app will open. So it was time to upgrade. Thing I was least excited about, no headphone jack. Feel like we're moving backwards. Now I get to carry on this thing. Uh, this is opening day. This is our elevator. Why would someone put that there? It's an opening day ticket. Where are they sitting? 517, so they're up top. I mean, someone literally just put, put that, that there, like today. That wasn't here when yeah. earlier. Where'd you go? <laughs> you look like a freaking turtle. You're like a turtle woman. Your face already looks like a turtle. At opening day, there's like, part of the festivities is there's a parade that get, that happens. Why are we running? Before the game, because it's freezing nuts. But today's just a random Monday, so they like, I don't know what happened with it, but the parade's today, so I don't think anybody's gonna be down here. But it's only a couple streets away from where we are, so. We're just gonna, we're gonna feel out the crowd. We're gonna see how it is. Your head is hilarious. <laughs> so I've had the iPhone 10 for a couple days now. I'm, I'm glad that I got it. The reason that I didn't want to buy it was because I didn't think that it really had enough features to really justify buying it just 
out of pure wanting to upgrade. Especially the fact that there isn't a auxiliary jack. So that sucks. They have that stupid little adapter thing that you gotta plug into it. I don't like that on the new MacBooks either. Buy an attachment just to plug in an SD card, I think that's ridiculous. All in all, I'm glad that I bought it. One, because I didn't have an option, and two, because after I've been using it, I just like the speed and the whole overall look. I haven't had a new phone in four years, and this is exactly really what I was looking for. I just like love being able to do, and it's kind of stupid, but the little face thing that it does, where you just look at it and it unlocks, it's crazy, it even works at nighttime. Like, I guess the screen just lights up your face and it works, but I was like, wow. So the hype is real, I guess. It's a great phone for the price. I'm not crazy about that part, but I am excited though because the camera on this is much better than what I had on the 6. I don't even know if that was so much the sensor as it was, just that my lens was so scratched up because I went naked, didn't have a case on it for the longest time. If my 6 was still working though, would I upgrade just for the sake of upgrading? No, I wouldn't have. But if your phone has that gray bar that's doing the little, uh, the dancing show, well... Today's video is brought to you by Rover. Rover is the nation's largest network of five-star dog walkers and pet sitters. If you're someone who travels a lot but also has a pet to care for, Rover is perfect for you. And they offer a ton of different services like dog walking, house sitting in case your pet doesn't want to leave home, drop-in visits in case your pet's more low maintenance like a cat, doggy daycare in case you just need a pet sitter for the day, and of course dog walking. So thanks again to Rover for sponsoring today's video. And to learn more, make sure you check out the link in the description. Usually after the parade you go to like the Reds game and then it's opening day and it's like part of the thing. But there's nowhere to go after the game today. Well, there's a game tonight, but oh, yeah. there's like a big time difference between the game and the parade. Yeah.